What's up fam, it's your boy Kirk Nugent and got a little something for you today. I'm gonna show you how to do a presentation in StreamYard using a transparent overlay, semi-transparent, just a little piece that is for your video and you can use the rest of your screen for your design. So today we're gonna dive into Canva and StreamYard. So without any further ado, let's figure out how it all works. I'm Kirk Nugent and I teach small businesses, faith-based entities, and entrepreneurs how to simplify live video mechanics so they can shine a floodlight on their brand. And in this video, we're gonna be looking at how I do my presentations in StreamYard. But first, let's go to Canva. So here we are in Canva, looking at my presentation on the screen, Paradox of Purpose. Um, I showed how to do this in, for Ecamm and uh, using a PDF export from Canva. And I'm gonna to link to that uh, to that video right here. But today I'm showing my StreamYard folks how you can do the same thing. So here you're seeing the presentation. I'm just gonna scroll through some of the stuff here. You see those this, this box that you're seeing on the screen is what we're gonna actually set up. But you're seeing that on all of the different screens here. So let's go back up to the, big, to the top here. And here we've got one that does not have the box. Now, I have a template for that box and that box is size exactly the way that the video feeds show up when you have the two 16 by nine boxes in StreamYard. So what I do to do that is of course, just take a screenshot in Stream, StreamYard and then put a white box or whatever color box over the video feeds. That's how you make your, your template. So um, in order to do that, I'm gonna go ahead and copy that box onto this screen right now. So now that box is copied onto the screen. Next thing I need to do is put an outline around it. So I'm gonna grab this outline right here and we wanna make that color, the color for the brand that we already have going here. So make this big again. Uh, now we just need to kind of size this thing to where we want it to be. Now the border here, in my opinion, is just a bit too big for what we're doing. Um, although it does work. So what you do in order to make it smaller, just drag one of the corners in and then use the sides to pull it back out. So I'm doing that right now. And you can see that's a little bit closer to what we want it to be. One, and it kind of gives us that look. So we're basically gonna group this and I copy and paste that onto all of the rest of the presentation. And so just as a bit of a background piece here, I'll just share that I built out the presentation already. The presentation has the logo for the entity that I was speaking for, my title, all my slides are in on the, uh, what I would say is the left side of the screen. And then the area where my video will show up is on the right side of the screen. You can see that that is all the way down. That that goes through throughout, throughout the whole presentation. So the next thing we need to do is show you how to cut that piece out in Canva. So before we do that, we've got to go up here uh, to the download button. We want to just download all of those slides. So all 15 slides and we click download. And then we once we have those slides on your machine, then we can go through and cut out the piece that we know we're going to use for your video. Let's do that now. So here we are on my desktop, we're looking at Finder. And what I'm about to show you, this process only works on a Mac. Unfortunately, I do not know if there is a way to do this on a Windows machine. So sorry, Windows fans, this process works on a Mac. Uh, so you can see in Finder that I've downloaded the entire presentation, all of those slides are here as PNGs, which is critical, it does need to be PNG. And so now I'm just going to go ahead and open the presentation, uh, one of the presentation documents. So that opens up here. And then I'm going to start this process. And it's just a couple of steps. So watch closely, go to view, we go to show markup toolbar. And that brings up this bar right here at the top. And we want instant alpha. So we go to instant alpha, click that and that changes our cursor, our mouse, 
And if we just drag in the area that we want to get rid of, and so the, 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 one of the key things here is to make sure that the color is different from the border you've placed around it. Once we've got that little you know, line going around the area that we know we want to cut out, we just hit the delete button and that part of the slide is now transparent. And so only thing I do here now is go to file, I go to save, and then now this file is ready to go. If it was JPG before, it will save it as a PNG once you make a piece of it transparent. So you're gonna to wanna to go through and do that same process for all of the different slides that you have. And then we need to upload them to StreamYard. So now let's go to StreamYard. So here we are in StreamYard, um, just got a blank, uh, template here, a blank brand, I should say. And you can see that I've uploaded some of these, uh, some of these files here already. I'm going to just grab that last one that we were playing with, which is the purpose presentation here. We've got that last one. That's our first slide of the presentation. Next thing to do, of course, add both onto the screen. And other thing that's critical here to note is that it does need to be this box. It needs to be this box. It, it's got to be this layout. And the other thing that you want to make sure is that your video is on the right side of the screen, right? That's the way we designed it. And so all that we need to do now is put up our first slide. And just like that. <laughs> now, here's one other thing that I didn't mention before. You do need two videos. So let me take this back down. Um, I've got my machine over there added to the studio and, and you can add whatever to the studio. You just need to make sure you've got two, uh, two uh, videos present in the StreamYard studio for this to work because you can't get the two 16 by nine boxes with only one video. So now that I have two videos in here, I can put my presentation up and now I can just kind of go through. So here is... That's, that's uh, the first slide. Here is the second slide. Here's the third slide, fourth slide. And everything is seamless because if you didn't catch my previous video, I was talking about the fact that StreamYard has fixed the glitch where uh, between overlays, it shows the screen. That no longer happens. And so since that is a new thing, you can now use this method to go through and do all your slides. Now, of course, you're gonna to wanna to make sure you set your brand you know, right. If, is, if you don't like using the default theme, if you wanna use minimal, if you wanna use bubble, whatever you wanna use there that's completely and totally up to you. If you wanna turn that thing off, you can turn it off. But as you can see, I'm covering the entire thing uh, with the overlay. I'm covering my other person, the other guest that's in the studio. I'm well, the other video that I have in the studio, and I'm using that in this way to be able to uh, make this work. And so hopefully this is useful to you. Hopefully this is something that you can try out. And I'd love to hear from you to hear, see how you've been able to use this um, for your presentations using StreamYard. So there you have it. This is one of the things that I have used in the past to be able to really come through and, and, and really wow people as I'm making my presentation. Uh, what I really love though, is that StreamYard has fixed that glitch so that as you go through your overlays, you don't have that issue where it shows what's happening behind the overlay. And that is so good. I'm glad that they fixed that. And so now this becomes something that I can share with everybody. Um, I'm hoping that this is, you know, something that's useful to you. This is exactly what we're all about here on this channel. It's trying to show you ways that you can get your message out there, um, be, to be able to build your brand with live video. Uh, one of the things that we are working towards is 5,000 subscribers by the end of the summer. We're hoping that you can help us in this journey, hoping that you will take this journey with us, all right, by hitting that subscribe button, by hitting the notification bell, and making sure that you like the video. Smash that like button right now if you can, uh, especially if this is something you never thought of before and you're like, man, that's a really cool way to be able to use this feature, this function of the platform um, in a way that we had not thought of before. So it's your boy, Kirk Nugent, the Geek Speaker Preacher, hoping that somewhere in the video today, we got you a little closer to figuring out how it all works. I'll see you in the next video.